So far, most of us still don't know if Maxwell Chikambutso's microsonic energy device is real or not. And I'll leave that to you to decide whether it's a groundbreaking invention or a scam. But here's something fascinating about his story. Because he couldn't secure a patent for his technology, he had to come up with a unique way to protect his intellectual property. Maxwell claims that he built his microsonic device with a self-destructive safeguard to prevent anyone from tampering with it or reverse engineering it. At the end of the video, I will play a clip of Maxwell explaining this self-destructive technology in his own words. But first, let me summarize it for you. According to him, the device is equipped with a small detonator that will cause it to explode if someone tries to open it up or mess with its internal components. He assures that the explosion is small and won't harm anyone, but it's enough to destroy the device completely. On top of that, he says they've added software safeguards as well. If someone tries to tamper with the wiring or the system, the software will trigger the device to self-destruct. This raises an interesting question. While this technology might protect his invention from being copied, what happens if the device needs repairs? Imagine taking your car in for routine maintenance and accidentally triggering the self-destruct mechanism. It's a risky trade-off, but Maxwell argues that this was the only way he could protect his invention after being denied a patent. Now, I'm going to play a clip of Maxwell explaining this self-destructive technology in his own words. Listen carefully and let me know what you think in the comments. We have done and we are trying to protect it. We have embedded it in the vehicle. Okay. Yes. And it has got a self-destructive technology. On the 150 wires on this car, if you try to tamper with five of them, we will classify. You destroy the microsoft energy device, both of the software and the hardware. That's how we are protecting the technology because we couldn't get a patent on ways on how to protect the technology in the event that we lose it. For example, we go in a country, we will set up a power station, there is a hostile takeover, we are kicked. How do we protect our technology? That's why we took the trade, the trade secret route. Our patent is kept, our, our design is kept, the recipe is kept in three countries. And uh, the people who are keeping it, they don't even know each other. The second thing, we try to protect the hardware side because if the engineer removes like a second board, you can trace, you can see that this is a rectifier, this is a, a microchip. So we put a small amount of a detonator to say, but that cannot harm anyone. But if you just try to temper with it, you blow it. That's part of the second board. Also on the software, if someone can have the source code, he can try to do reverse engineering. So we work on a on an algorithm that if you tamper with certain wires on the vehicle, you are going to destroy the microsonic device. So you cannot tamper with it. You cannot tamper with it. If you tamper with it, then you lose your <laughs> your investment. Question, what would be the market price for you? Right now we're still doing costing. I think before the end of this week we have the final costing, but it's going to be cheap. That I will. Really, I can. Uh, so what? Which products do you have on the market? The, the car. The, the, are the batteries on the market? The green and power grid machines are on the market. The TVs are on the market. The bikes are on the market. The cars as well. They are on the market. So when you say on the market, where would, where would one buy one? So if you wanted to buy a battery, where would you go? Right now we're doing, uh, I think you saw the company that we partnered, like in Zimbabwe, which was uh, doing that video. That's our agile centric team marketing. But right now we are using the Tesla model, uh, the Tesla model, which we are using that we don't want to have middlemen because the prices will be so high at the end users. So I say people they will buy straight from safe in other countries, then they will get their products there. For example, we are setting up in Switzerland, so it is going to cover Europe and some parts of Europe. Then we have got other countries that will pick up in the, like in Central Africa, East Africa and Northern Africa, which will cover different areas. So what's, what's the maximum speed for this and for? This is an answer so we can go in there. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's on. It's on right now. It's on. Oh, yeah. yeah. So there are no mechanical, there are no like, moving parts. <laughs> the only moving part that you will see on this car is a reduction gearbox. But you don't have to maintain it for the service. The generator doesn't have. It doesn't have. The generator doesn't have any moving parts. Usually those type of devices that are known as zero point energy. 
So you cannot even maintain it, you cannot service it because there is no friction that is available. Wow. Mm. In the way technology, they pass through that, the, limit, the only less energy will go to recharge the battery, but the greater power of the energy powers the device. So that is the beauty of it now. If you understand what I'm saying, those people who understand like how batteries work. For example, in a car, in a typical car, the acid batteries, they've got, your alternator has got a regulator. So when you're using a battery, that means the alternator is off. But when we are using, when, when a battery is depleted, for you to recharge and use it at once, it is very impossible. They don't have that technology yet, we have got it. That's the path through technology that you can now take power from it and recharge it at the same time. So the regulator now cuts off the power that has to be coming from the battery and it will be redirected direct to the car from the alternator. So this is what we have done. We have made it possible that a small battery can now do something that is big. Then uh, on the car, I think we're going to demonstrate all the cars that you know. If you go to Kaya right now, all their cars, you have to plug in either a DC charging station or an AC charging station. Our car is the first car. This is a generator. I think if you can go to the fridge, you can see. He is going to plug in and you will see that the fridge is going to be powered by a car. Like I said, you can buy a car. You don't need to have a generator at your home. You use your car. Okay. the channel. What we have done, like we said, the microsonic energy device is the invention that we have done and we are trying to protect it. We have embedded it in the vehicle. Okay. Yes. And it has got a self-destructive technology. On the 150 wires on this car, if you try to tamper with five of them, will be classified. You destroy the Microsoft Energy device, both of the software and the hardware. Wow. That's how we are protecting the technology because we couldn't get a patent. Oh. Oh. More like it. Yes, it's incredible. It's on. It's on right now. It's on. Oh, yeah. yeah. So there are no mechanical. <laughs> Like moving parts. <laughs> the only moving part that you will see on this car is a reduction gearbox. But you don't have to maintain it to no, save it. The generator doesn't have it. Doesn't have, the generator doesn't have any moving parts. Usually those type of devices that are known as zero point energy. So you cannot even maintain it, you cannot service it because there is no friction that is available. Wow. Mm. In the way 